Hello again, human. It's I, Sir Nixie. Oh, don't tell me you missed me. <laughs> Why am I here? Well, I know you didn't summon me, but... Do you mind if I, uh... Hang out? That's the word, right? I didn't just say something that's... Oh, okay, okay. Um... I just... Came back from a night full of... Succubusing, you know. Having sex, sucking dicks, sucking... Other parts of the human body. I'd rather not talk about it. Well, um, if you insist. I met up with this girl who, I mean, she seemed nice. She was really pretty. Oh my gosh, she had the most beautiful hair. It was so nice. And then she made me suck her toes for an hour. Sure, her soul tasted like strawberry shortcake, and uh, I wouldn't mind another piece of it, but I, I can't do that, you know? It's not, it's not the kind of thing that I would normally do. I normally suck dicks, and toes are different. She didn't even get anything out of it. I just sucked her toes, kind of. <laughs> oh, shit. Did you hear my leg pop? <laughs> yeah. I also, uh, I guess... Yeah, I'll just tell you about it. I had sex with maybe this 300-pound guy who summoned me. He was actually from Korea. And he had really nice hair. I met a bunch of people with nice hair tonight. But he was really rough, and he kept groping my legs and my thighs, and... It kinda hurts. Look, I've got bruises. Oh, come on, you don't care. No, 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 you can't tell me that looking at my legs gets you aroused. Well, it shouldn't. Damn. Humans have gone to shit, haven't they? I mean, way back when, you'd have to do all these kinds of things to get them aroused, but now? Ah, <sighs> I suck their toes for a piece of their soul. Anyways, how are you? Of course I don't really care, but... I mean, how are you? You might as well tell me. I mean, what... What am I gonna do? I'm not gonna tell anybody. Good day? Oh, that's good. How... How's that girl that you told me about? Have you used your tricks on her? <laughs> you have, that's good. You know, the next time you see her, you should buy her roses. White roses. I know they're kind of a symbol of innocence, but... Oh, you can't tell me they're not the most beautiful flower. And if not white roses, then maybe some wonderful red roses. They're more a symbol of lust than innocence or love, but... I mean... You never fail to make a girl's day by giving her red roses, right? Anyways, that's what I've picked up over my years. You look terrible. No offense or anything. You just... You look like you haven't slept for a week. You've slept, right? Well, I guess that's okay. But you need to sleep more. Oh, shut up. I am not like your mom. I'm just telling you you need to sleep more. Maybe if you slept more, you wouldn't have those ugly under-eye bags. <laughs> yeah, I called them ugly. Well, what are you... Th Nobody's gonna find that attractive. <laughs> you mumble too much. Maybe if you spoke with your chest like a real man, a woman would actually like you. <laughs> Oh, you know I'm just joking around and teasing you. What you should really do is use some mousse in your hair. Yeah, it'll give it some body, some volume. And not, well, the shapeless mess that you have going on. And take more showers. And shave. Some women like stubble, but 
Mm. Might as well shave. It gives you a more clean look. <sighs> if I see you wearing basketball shorts the next time I come, I am going to slice your balls off. <laughs> you like it when I talk like that? When I talk in a little bit of a higher voice? <laughs> Does it get you excited? <laughs> oh, come off it. You know I'm not actually going to do anything to you, right? <laughs> you make me laugh so much. Girls like that, you know? If you make a girl laugh, you might actually find your way to her heart. Well, if you make her laugh and you look good. And, well, giving her flowers wouldn't hurt, but I already said that. And how about you bring her lunch tomorrow? What kind of- oh, are you kidding me? What- what are girls like these days? It's some, like, Mexican food restaurant that's, like, everywhere. Not just in Mexico. Chipotle. Get her that. And if she doesn't like Chipotle, um... <clears throat> McDonald's? <laughs> I know, McDonald's is cheap and all their ingredients are shit, but... I mean, might as well. Everybody likes... Chicken nuggets. No, I, I was just thinking about this sole that I ate a few days ago. It tasted kind of like a chicken nugget. That's how souls should taste. Like chicken McNuggets. Terrible for you, but... I mean, I love them. Anyways, have you ever kissed a girl? No. Well, I'm not surprised by that. Do you know how to kiss a girl? <laughs> you do? Oh, how? How how have you trained to kiss a girl? How do you know? Have you been kissing your pillow? Have you been practicing with your hands? <laughs> Don't give me that look. Everyone practices with their hands. Except for me. I mean, look at me. Why would I need to practice with my hands? I've got millions of guys lining up to kiss me. <laughs> Here. Okay, put your hand on my cheek. No, I'm just... I'm just gonna kiss you so you can... Shut up. It's just practice, you know. I don't actually like you. <sighs> that wasn't too bad. Except... Be a little more gentle with your tongue. Start with your lips, and be gentle with them. And then when I open my mouth, maybe put your tongue in a little bit. You know? You can't scare, the, scare a girl off by tonguing her throat. Oh, that sounded bad. <laughs> ah, let's try it again. that that was better <laughs> that was that was a lot better <laughs> i wish every guy knew how to kiss like you i mean i taught you how to kiss but i wish i wish every guy knew how to kiss for me i don't want to kiss you or anything but that was a really good kiss i'm sure if you kissed a girl like that if you kissed the girl that you like like that she would probably like you i mean she might, but I don't know. I might actually end up being jealous of this girl. <laughs> I mean, you could turn out to be a great man. You're a perfect blank canvas. I mean, you may have some acne scars and hair that just doesn't really look great, and you may not really have a good sense of fashion, but you can kiss and... That's a lot better than half the men I've met. You want to know more about me? I suppose I could tell you some things. We should start at the beginning, though. I was alive in the 18th century. I was deeply, deeply in love with this girl. She was beautiful. 
She had these eyes that shined like the sun and a smile just as perfect as a full moon. I know that metaphor simile. No, that's a metaphor. Listen, I haven't been to English class in a while. That metaphor, it may not make sense, but if you could see her, you'd agree with me. She was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And her laugh, it sounded like jingle bells. That metaphor is stupid too, or simile. That was a simile. <laughs> Again, if you've met her, you would know. It's so beautiful and innocent and just perfect in every way. Eventually, she came to her senses and started dating me. But a few months into the relationship, I found out she was cheating on me. <laughs> and she had been for a really long time. And when I tell you that broke me, that really broke me, I started sleeping around with guys and a few girls. There weren't many lesbians back then. Anyways, I had all this sex. I was sleeping around with everyone. I mean, everyone called me a whore, a hoe, a wench. That's the word I'm looking for. But I did it because I was hurting. Sex was the only way I could feel in control, the only way I felt I had power. And it was the only love I could feel. Eventually I died. When I say eventually, maybe when I was 32? My house was lit on fire and I lived in the middle of the forest so there wasn't really anywhere for me to go. And I died. And then I was a succubus. At the beginning I was kind of against it. I'd been having sex my entire life. Well, not when I was a kid, that's illegal, but I'd been having all this sex and now here I was in the afterlife doomed to have even more of it. And I never really could have another shot at love. But I've kind of grown into it. <laughs> I've changed. I used to look different than this, believe it or not. But my hair turned white, and I have fangs, and I have these pointy ears. <laughs> yeah, they're cute, aren't they? But I'm different now, and I think I'm better. I'm definitely better. Back then I was so immature. But now, I feel like a real woman, you know? But now here I am talking to you. I wish there were more men like you. Men that would listen. And to be honest, I really appreciate that. Listening is one of those skills that some people aren't born with, but I suppose you are. <sighs> now I've complimented you too much. I should be going. Know that... As much as I complimented you today, you still need a bunch of work. I'll see you later. Yes, I'll see you later. Of course I want to keep building you. Building you into the perfect person. Which right now, sadly, you aren't. Anyways. Um. Goodbye, human.